Hello and welcome people to a tutorial on how to record 240p systems with Elgato HD Capture uh, in decent quality. First and foremost, uh, one thing needs to be gotten out, uh, straight out of the way. Uh, 240p cannot be captured through the component connection. Even though uh, some of those systems, like for example PS1, can technically be connected with uh, the component connection, it just isn't going to work. Um, for the most part, the best what you can get is uh, the uh, with the S-Video cable, which is supported with practically every system in existence. That isn't the European GameCube and the European Wii. I hate you, Nintendo. Um, what you have to do uh, for if you really care about the quality on those ancient systems you have to get an adapter for S video now once you already have that there are certain problems you may run into uh, first and foremost I will show um, what will happen when it actually works Nintendo 64 has really high compatibility with 240p for some random reason I have no idea why as you can see it shows here on my HDMI 2 channel and as you can see here it also goes through the Elgato with no problems. Yeah, as you can see here. Um, Nintendo 64 will not cause any problems. However, most of the other systems uh, are, not so, um, are not so cooperative. For example, PlayStation 1 will in fact record with, uh, with the Elgato but will not show through the HDMI. And in this tutorial I will be showing a couple ways I found out that will help you get around that issue and still be able to uh, see what you're recording on your TV. Uh, I will start off with methods that are uh, very accessible to everyone and does, don't require any money uh, or require very little uh, and I will steadily go to more obscure slash more time consuming slash more money consuming methods alright uh, let's be uh, let's begin by showing off that it doesn't in fact work in a minute one thing I want to get out of the way is uh, I'm going to be using a PS2 for this presentation uh, because of a couple reasons. First of all, I don't have a PS1. Second of all, PS2 and PS1 have the exact same issues when playing PS1 games. Third of all, there are a couple PlayStation 2 games that run in 240p and PlayStation 2 still uses the same format as it uses for PlayStation 1 games. And lastly, there is one special way uh, that I'm going to show at the very end of the video. Um, that allows you to play uh, PS1 games uh, without any problems, uh, even via the component cables. But first, uh, let's run our uh, PS2, playing a PS1 game. The PS1 game I'm going to be showing off is Parasite Eve 1. Whatever, Parasite Eve 2, sorry. And as you see here, we already have a problem unsupported signal however as you may be able to hear it still puts through the sound and it actually shows on the Elgato and it can be recorded without any problems now I don't know why this happens with the PS1 and doesn't happen with the uh, uh, with the Nintendo 64, I would assume that uh, the format that PS2, uh, PS1 has is a lot more shaky. Then, uh, is a lot uh, has a lot less consistent uh, refresh rate than the uh, Nintendo 64 does. Uh, but uh, let's now get straight to how to resolve these sorts of issues. Just uh, give me a second. Alright, uh, so first way that I'm not actually gonna be able to show off because my TV does not possess such function is uh, to first connect your uh, PS2 or 1 uh, to your TV not to the Elgato, but to the TV 
and then set up in your TV functions uh, uh, AV output to one of your AV ports and then connect that to the Elgato that way you will be able to see everything and then record and depending on uh, what kind of TV you have you may even be able to get as video signal on it which would be optimal for everything other ways of dealing with this is uh, what, if you don't have that uh, is to get a whole bunch of uh, splitters and um, yeah connect them to the usual composite cable and it will split the signal from the white uh, from the yellow and from the red into two other similar ones I'm sorry I'm not showing it correctly yeah just splits the signal into two um, it technically uh, it technically dilapidates the quality however when it comes to the composites the video quality is already so low that it doesn't suffer from this another way of dealing with this is uh, however only um, is only applicable if you live in Europe is to get a SCART cable that also has an RCA out on the way for some reason this is the input on the way goes uh, an RCA out and at the very end you have this this SCART cable you will not have any idea what this is unless you live in Europe and if you live in Europe every single TV has a, co uh, has a connection for this and since they are both uh, completely different uh, types of signals uh, the uh, RCA out or composite, I'm using those two terms uh, will not suffer the quality loss and you will be able to enjoy Hello. I'm sorry uh, you will be able to enjoy a really high quality on your, t uh, on your TV and slightly disappointing quality in your videos there is uh, one more way of going around it and it's a little bit more complicated and actually requires uh, investing some money into it which is getting a uh, S-Video splitter now I already have uh, I will arrange everything for the S-Video splitter right now now uh, I have arranged everything. Uh, now I have connected my PS2 uh, to an S-Video splitter. Uh, I would like to show you uh, what uh, I have done behind the TV but showing that Eldred Abomination is not going to clear anyone's mind. So instead I will show this context sensitive picture of a bunny that will turn into an appropriate schematic right now. Alright, so this is the schematic of what I had done behind my TV, except uh, a lot uh, less convoluted. I tried to keep it as simplistic as possible with only the most important elements that are important uh, in understanding uh, what needs to be done. First and foremost, uh, when you're getting an S-Video cable for your PS1 or PS2, you need to make sure they only have the S-Video out and the RCA cables for the audio R and audio left. Now, the second thing that go uh, that you see on the schematic uh, next one to the PS1 is an amplifier. It is important to get an actual amplifier and not a splitter, because when it comes to the S video connection, uh, a splitter will cause the image to dilapidate to such a degree that it will look like something I'll show a link to somewhere around here. Um, just uh, make sure you get an amplifier. It's very easy to actually guess what is an amplifier and isn't an amplifier. It needs to actually connect to electricity if it is an amplifier. When it, uh, when it is a splitter, when it doesn't require electricity, it's a splitter. So, uh, from the amplifier, uh, you will have to lead uh, two S-Video cables. Uh, one which will go into your TV, and another one uh, which will go into the Elgato. 
Now, an important thing, an S-Video adapter does not come with every Elgato, you actually have to get it separately. And make sure you actually get it from the original website, because you may be able to find connectors that also work uh, in a 7-pin mi uh, mini DIN. Um, but they are not going to be the exact same as Elgato uses, just uh, bear with me with that on that one. And uh, from that, uh, oh, and you also, of course, need to provide the uh, audio connector for this. Um, and from this, you just uh, connect your Elgato to your computer. You don't actually need to connect it with HDMI simply because you're not gonna be showing it through HDMI, at least with the PS1. Uh, and from this point onwards, you're basically set. And none of this will actually work if there isn't a dancing robot in the bottom left corner of the screen. Believe me, I tried. And now that we've got all that crazy talk out of the way, let's roll. Now you will notice that the picture is a little bit dilapidated. That is because I am not actually connecting my... Uh, uh, I'm not actually connecting from the... Uh, as video port of the uh, of the amplifier, I am do uh, I am doing it through a um, uh, convert uh, sort of a cable converter to uh, from S video to composite. Simply because my TV lacks that port. However, it still displays, even though slightly washed out, but still displays uh, what is currently going on. And the most important part is that the recording is in very correct quality. I sorry. Yeah, the recording is exactly what it's supposed to be and that's what it's essentially all about. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to uh, show off one more method this one is a little bit more obscure and uh, it may not be, uh, not everyone may be uh, okay with it but, uh, for, uh, and it's also not exactly the most reliable method but when it works it's the, mo uh, it's the best you can get with, uh, with uh, recording a PS1 so I'll be back in a second and now we're back at the PS2 menu screen. This time, however, I have my PS2 connected with the component connection. I, has, I had said before that this doesn't really work for the 240p games. Not really, but you can make it work if you have this program. I highly recommend it. It's awesome. Um, it allows you to uh, scale uh, the 240p games all uh, both on the uh, both the ones that run on the uh, PlayStation 2 and also the ones that run on the PlayStation 1 uh, for the PlayStation 2 games that run into in 240p i would advise either going for 480i or 480p uh, one may work, one may not work, um, another may not work, uh, it's very random. However, generally, the results are going to be almost exactly the same. It also has a very special mode for the uh, PlayStation 1 games, uh, the, um, which I'm going to run right now. I'm going to choose the PAL uh, one, because Parasite E was actually decently optimized, surprisingly enough. Uh, I choose the option to go to PS2 browser and uh, let's roll. And by the way, this uh, I'm not repeating this because I it had crashed on me before. It totally crashed, but it was just my computer being sassy. Now it will it will not display correctly here. However, everything you need to know uh, it, what to do here is press down. And X. You can also perform this uh, with the use of uh, composite cables or with the use of uh, as video cables if you feel like it. Uh, you will however have to do that one step I did, uh, I mean down and X blindly because that will not display 
through either the composite or the uh, as video. Um, it's also worth noting that uh, this uh, mode selector thingamajig uh, can actually be used to force PAL games into uh, run uh, running in uh, 480i, which is very nifty because uh, practically none of them were correctly optimized for uh, the European regions. I'm sorry, I had to restart it because my computer has a very bad sense of humor today. In any case, normally it works and it doesn't do such things. Uh, just, just believe me on that, it's, uh, it's very camera shy. Um, but uh, what I, what was I saying? You can force. Uh, you can also use this program uh, to play uh, import games on your PS One, which is otherwise either impossible, or you're basically forced in. Uh, you're basically forced to play them in incorrect aspect ratio and at incorrect speed, which is like playing every other European PS One game. But yeah. Um, it's uh, you. You cannot. You can sadly not run this program on the original PS One, um, which uh, which is kind of sad. But uh, thankfully, most PS One games will actually run without problems on the PS Two. Now uh, I will let it run for a little uh, for a couple seconds in order to show off that the gameplay still actually works it will just show an eye catch uh, which uh, yeah is, is just gameplay footage uh, so i will also attach um i will also attach the uh, recorded footage from this uh, in uh, to the video uh, somewhere around here ish i think yes that that's that's that sounds about right and for anyone complaining that this looks blocky, you have to remember that uh, these consoles, uh, these consoles' output uh, resolution is uh, half of what uh, nowadays uh, mobile phone uh, has on their screen. So you have to consider that it's just uh, scaling up that uh, half of this sort of screen. So like this much into this big, uh, I don't know how many inch this TV is, but yeah, it scales up the, uh, to uh, to this big, so it, it's going to look blocky if anything. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you liked it.